Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a family collage in Word. So first of all I'm going to rotate this page around to landscape. So go up to layout, orientation, landscape and then I'm going to insert my letters. So go up to insert, go to text box, click draw text box click and just roughly draw out a square, doesn't matter, it doesn't need to be square. So let's make this a perfect square, select it, go to shape format and go over to this section here. So this is your height and width. So if we just click on the top one, click and drag across those figures and press six, do the same with the bottom, press six, press enter and then click the checkbox to make sure that it's a perfect square. So now we want to insert our text. So click again inside so you see your cursor here. I'm going to start my word with the letter F because I'm going to spell out the word family. Deselect it, reselect it, or you can double click and highlight the letter. Either will work. Go to the Home tab and then go up to Increase Font Size Tool here. And then just keep clicking and you can see your letter will increase in size. Now you can have this any size you like, but as I click you can see that that letter becomes more and more central to that square. However, if you want a slightly smaller letter, like this for example, you can see you want to have an increase in the margin at the top here. So all you need to do, make sure the square is selected Go to Shape Format, go to Format Pane. Here you'll have your customization menus. Make sure you're on Shape Options. Go to this icon here. And down here you can see we've got Top Margin. So all you need to do is go to this up arrow here and just click. And as you click, you can see that that letter will move down the box to the middle. So I'm going to make sure that my letter is the size I want it, so it's slightly bigger. I'm going to go to 130. And now I need to reduce that margin to move that letter up. This is very much done by eye. So now I just want to change the colour of this background and get rid of this borderline. So select it. Now I can go up to Shape Format and change it with these two icons here. This is the outline. So I can take off the outline and shape fill. I can select a color from here or go to more fill colors where you'll find your color wheel. You can move this little marker around anywhere and the darken and lighten slider is here and your final color is here. So if we were to go for a slightly gray blue and click OK and then deselect. Now the alternative to this is you can go back over here and go to shape options again and here you have exactly the same thing with fill and line. So no line, that was the outline and you can go to solid fill here and your colours are here. Now what I want to do is change the colour of the font and you can do that by simply going to the home tab, going to this icon here which is font colour and changing it to white. So I need to spell out family, so all I'm going to do is to copy and paste this square. Now I can do that really easily by selecting it. Hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag. Alternatively, you can go to Copy, Deselect, and then Paste. Now it's pasted two because I had two selected at the time. I'm just going to move these down, and then I'm just going to press Paste again. So I've got two additional ones. Deselect and I can roughly move them to where I want them. Don't worry too much about the placement because we're going to come and do that all at the end. Now I just need to change the letters. Now obviously this works really well with a six letter word but you can change the word and the configuration. You could put more boxes in by reducing the size of the boxes or you can put less boxes in and increasing the size of the boxes. So now let's insert some images and I'll show you how to customize them to make them square. So go to insert, pictures, 
picture from file and then let's select our first picture here and click insert. Now when you insert a picture into Word you won't be able to move it you have to change the wrapping so select it go to picture format go to wrap text and you can select any one of these but I always pick in front of text just makes life a little bit easier. Then we want to crop this to a one-to-one -one or square ratio so select it again picture format go over to crop and then go down to aspect ratio and select square. So you can see we've now got a square cropping but you can adjust it by moving clicking and moving this image across if you want to cut out some more of the image you can reduce the size of it but make sure you click hold down your shift key and then move it otherwise it will turn into a rectangle and it won't keep that one-to-one -one ratio so make sure you hold down that shift key once you're happy with the placement of your image just press enter you've now got a square image if we now go up to the height and weight that we had before then because it's checked here we can just simply change the top one to six and press enter you can see now that these two have changed to six each you can roughly move this one into place and if you want black and white just go up to color corrections so we're still in picture format at the top here go to color and select the furthest desaturation now you can insert multiple images at once so go to insert pictures picture from file I'm going to select this picture here hold down my command or control key select this one here and then click insert so what we've done now is produce two pages but again go straight to wrap text because the picture is selected go to in front of text and we can move this check our photograph is there behind go to crop aspect ratio one to one we can quickly crop this image press enter go up to the top here type in six and press enter and then we can move this one down go to color and select zero saturation and then click on this one and do exactly the same in front of text crop aspect ratio then for this one I'm going to reduce it hold down my shift key press enter you can see at the moment it's 5.75 so let's increase that to 6 and press enter color desaturate and move it down so I'm going to do the rest of the images and speed up the video then I'm going to show you how to perfectly align everything and also how to change the colors customizations of these squares all at once. <laughs> okay so now we've got everything inserted what we need to do first is line up the end ones so select this top one and then go down here then hold down your command or control key because that will enable you to select multiple squares as you can see go to align, align to left then what you need to decide is how close you want the gaps so the further I pull this one this way you're going to get tiny gaps and if I pull it this way you're going to get bigger gaps between all the photographs now I'm going to go for gaps about this size so once again I'm going to select all of these go to picture format, align align to right now that might not make any sense it has aligned all these pictures to the right here and it has aligned all the pictures to the left here now what I can do is select the top row and then go to align and now because I've spaced this the right one and the left one I can now go to distribute horizontally and it will put an equal space between all of my pictures then I can go to align, align to top and now the top row is perfectly aligned now we can do that with the next row down, select them all align, distribute horizontally align, align to top 
and then again with this bottom row here, align, distribute horizontally, align, align to top. So everything is aligned except for the gap here and the gap here. Now at the moment it looks perfect but let's just say for example, I'm going to highlight these, you had a situation like this where everything's perfectly aligned but you've got a bigger gap here. What you need to do is select this bottom row, go to picture or shape format, doesn't matter, go to group and select group. Do the same with the middle row and the top row and group. So now you've grouped all of these together. You can now select all of three, again holding down that command or control key. And then you can go to align and this time distribute vertically, deselect, and they will be aligned perfectly with an equal gap here and here. You can see that gap is slightly bigger than the gap vertically. So if you want a similar gap, then you do need to experiment a bit, but click on the top one or the bottom one and move it up so it's quite tight. Select them all again and just repeat the alignment, distribute vertically, deselect, and you can see now that that has decreased that gap and it looks far more equal. So now to make sure it's all aligned to the page, select them all, go to group and select group. We've now got one group, then go to align, align to center, and then align, align to middle. Perfect. So now you've got your collage, it's all perfectly lined up. You might want to go back and maybe change the color of these squares if they don't quite fit. So let's go back up to picture format. Let's go to group and ungroup several times. Just keep ungrouping until you've got this situation, which is all where they're now back to their individual parts. So now what we can do is select all of the letters. Again, holding down the command or control key. Now you can go to shape options. You can go to the bucket icon and in solid fill, we can come back to the color and then we can go perhaps down to more colors. We can make this a little bit more gray. You can see the color here. You can move this around a little bit if you want it a little bit more green, a little bit more blue. Then click OK. And as you can see, all of those change at the same time. You can do exactly the same with the fonts and the font sizes and the font color select them all, go to the home tab, and then we can change the font color. I'll just change it to black again. Or if you wanted to go for something bizarre, you can see how that will change. And then if you want to change the font itself, you can maybe change it like this. And you can really experiment with the different options. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.